తిరుపతి జిల్లాలోని సతీష్ ధావన్ స్పేస్ సెంటర్ నుండి ఇస్రో ఆదివారం మరో వాణిజ్యపరమైన రాకెట్ ప్రయోగాన్ని విజయవంతంగా నిర్వహించింది సరిగ్గా ఉదయం ఆరు గంటల ముప్పై ఒక్క నిమిషాలకు మొదటి ప్రయోగ వేదికపై నుండి పిఎస్ఎల్వి సి రాకెట్ ద్వారా సింగపూర్ కి చెందిన డిఎస్ఆర్ అనే ఉపగ్రహంతో పాటుగా మరో ఆరు నాలుగు ఉపగ్రహాలను కూడా విజయవంతంగా కక్షలో నిలిపింది సింగపూర్ కి చెందిన వివిధ ప్రైవేటు కంపెనీలకు సంబంధించిన నానో ఉపగ్రహాలలో వేలోక్సా ఏఎం ఆర్కేడ్ స్కూబీ ఐఐ న్యూలైన్ గాలాసియా టూ ఓఆర్ బి టువల్స్ త్రీడర్ ఈ ఆరు ఉన్నాయి పిఎస్ఎల్వి సిరీస్ లో ఇది యాబై ఎనిమిదవ ప్రయోగం ఇప్పటి వరకు యాబై ఏడు పిఎస్ఎల్వి రాకెట్లను ప్రయోగించడం జరిగింది ఇస్రో ఇప్పటిదాకా తొంభై రెండు రాకెట్లను షార్ నుండి ప్రయోగించింది అలాగే ముప్పై నాలుగు ఇతర దేశాలకు సంబంధించిన నాలుగు వందల ఇరవై నాలుగు ఉపగ్రహాలను వాణిజ్యపరంగా ప్రయోగించడం జరిగింది ఈ ప్రయోగ విజయంతో ఇస్రో ప్రయోగించిన విదేశాల ఉపగ్రహాల సంఖ్య నాలుగు వందల ముప్పై ఒకటికి పెరిగింది పిఎస్ఎల్వి సి ద్వారా ప్రయోగించిన ఏడు ఉపగ్రహాల బరువు నాలుగు కిలోలు కాగా అందులో ప్రధానమైన డిఎస్ఆర్ ఉపగ్రహం బరువు మూడు వందల యాబై రెండు కిలోలు ఉంటుంది పిఎస్ఎల్వి సి ప్రయోగం జరిగిన తర్వాత పంతొమ్మిది ముప్పై నిమిషాలకు మొదటి ఉపగ్రహం డిఎస్ఆర్ ఉపగ్రహాన్ని కక్షలో నిలపడం జరిగింది అనంతరం మరో నాలుగు నిమిషాల వ్యవధిలో మరో ఆరు నానో ఉపగ్రహాలను కూడా మరో మూడు ముప్పై నిమిషాలకు కక్షలో నిలపడంతో ఈ ప్రయోగం పూర్తి స్థాయిలో విజయవంతమైనట్లు ఇస్రో చైర్మన్ సోమనాథ్ ప్రకటించారు ఇలాంటి వాణిజ్యపరమైన ప్రయోగాల వల్ల భారత్ కు మంచి ఆదాయం సమకూరే అవకాశాలు ఉన్నాయి ఆర్థికంగా భారత్ బలపడడానికి కూడా ఇలాంటి ప్రయోగాలు దోహదపడతాయి Good morning all of you. PSLV C-56 carrying seven satellites including the primary satellite DSR and six co-passengers have been successfully placed in the right orbit. This is a mission of the PSLV for NSIL and I want to congratulate the customers sponsored by Government of Singapore for having this mission on board PSLV and their continued faith in our PSLV for deploying the spacecrafts from Singapore. Congratulations once again to NSIL and <laughs> Singapore satellite who have been on board around this mission and a very perfect orbit that this time that we have got. And we are going to have any exciting further activities on the PSLV stage after this. The PSLV 4 stage, which is in the currently in the orbit of the satellite, which is uh, at almost 535 kilometer circular orbit in the 5 degree inclination, that will be brought back to a lower orbit of 300 kilometers with an intent to have a lower lifespan of the stage being spent in the space, primarily to make sure that the space debris mitigation problems are addressed through our conscious efforts to bring back the PSLV upper stage in a controlled manner and to demonstrate that in this mission. So we are going to have that activity taking place further in, in almost another one and a half hours. So we will get those confirmation much later. But at this moment, let me thank all of you for watching this mission early morning of this day and supporting us and congratulating us. And we want to specifically tell you that we are going to come back with another PSLV mission soon. Uh, in the come in the month of August or September early early September so until then let me thank you for but before I leave I would like to hand over the mic to the chairman come managing director of NSIL who has been helping us to have the PSLV winning all the commercial launches so over to Radha Krishna. Uh, good morning everybody First of all, let me express my heartiest congratulations to Team ISRO PSLE project across various centers for uh, giving us such a marvelous and uh, precise mission. I don't think customer could have asked for anything better than what we have just seen in that today's mission. As you are aware, in this particular mission, we had seven satellites from customer. The DSR, which was a primary satellite, a radar imaging satellite for all weather day-night imaging. And we also had uh, six co-passenger satellites, again from Singapore, from NTU, NUS and other companies. 
So I would say this C-56 mission has been the entirely Singapore mission. On this occasion, I would just like to recall uh, one or two instances. Uh, if I look back our association with ST and uh, DSTA way back in 2015, uh, when they offered us the first dedicated mission called Thelios-1. And since then, we have bagged almost uh, three more launch contracts with uh, Singapore, ST and DSTA. And uh, today's launch has been the fourth dedicated launch for a single customer. I would say in the history of our uh, PSLV launches for a commercial launches for uh, international customer, a single customer coming to uh, PSLV continuously four times for a dedicated launch has been a real record and that shows the kind of trust the customer has laid on uh, the teams here. I am aware Singapore is planning many more missions in the future and uh, they will continue to have uh, trust on our services and the most reliable launcher PSLV that we have offered the services. I am sure they will offer us many more opportunities for us to uh, give them the best launch in the international community. And uh, with this I would like to congratulate the DSR and the, all the customer team for their successful in orbit operations. Thank you very much. So this launch has been uh, the result of the very dedicated and continuous work of the PSLE project team. So on behalf of the launch vehicle team and the PSLE project team, the mission director. Thank you, sir. Good morning to all. Or rather, a PSLV good morning to all. Or more befitting, a ISRO good morning to India. Because early morning we have uh, a very successful mission of PSLV. But before anything, a big salute to Team ISRO. Because in the past, uh, in the matter of two weeks time, matter of 15 to 16 days time, we have accomplished two major missions of ISRO. And that is because of the, simply because of the dedicated effort of Team ISRO. That is the sole reason. And uh, I compliment each and every one of you for that. Coming to this mission, PSLV, in its uh, 56th successful mission, as you have seen here, has injected s seven customer satellites into the desired orbit. We started this campaign, integration activities at a new integration facility, PSLV integration facility, and moved over to first launch pad. Then onwards, all activities have been taking place very systematically, almost on a something like a clockwork precision. Yesterday, we started the countdown, and countdown activities also went off very well without any observation, as if something like a, uh, you take uh, a command from a textbook, execute it, that's all, and all the parameters were as expected. All this possible only because of the dedication of the uh, dedication of Team ISRO. And subsequently, we have seen that after automatic launch sequence at T0, what a majestic liftoff of PSLV, and each stage delivering whatever is intended of it, getting jettisoned, and uh, reaching the fourth stage, after attaining the required velocity and orbital conditions, all the six satellites, all the seven satellites got, got out separated one after another. It was a very uh, beautiful, fantastic sight to watch sitting there. But as our beloved chairman has indicated, we have not completed the mission. The primary mission, the primary objective of the mission is completed. And uh, uh, what can we do? It has become a habit or uh, PSLV has, is habituated to uh, doing some experiments in orbit. We will not leave the terminal stage just to wander in the uh, space. We will take control of that. Because, because as you know, last time also we have done this. That is, uh, we, have, we have written poems, we have written, uh, we have uh, sung melodies in space, we have taken startups to orbit. All those things we have done with the spent PS4 stage. This time we thought we will do something different. And that is what we are uh, embarking on after the completion of the primary mission. We are taking the PS4 stage back to another orbit because this orbit, 536 kilometer, roughly 500 to 570 kilometer orbit is very much in demand for many satellites. We thought we will not, uh, uh, we will not be wandering there. PSLV on its own decided that we will take the PS4 stage or the spent stage to another orbit, another lower orbit for two purposes. One, as our chairman has told, to, uh, to do our might, to do whatever is best possible to mitigate the uh, menace of debris in orbit. Another thing is this orbit, uh, this precious orbit will not be occupied, by, occupied with the spent PS4 stage and uh, as a debris, but we will give space for other 
future satellites. These are the two objectives with which we are doing this experiment. That experiment is in progress and definitely within another one hour, I am very sure we will be accomplishing that experiment also. And all these things have been possible, as I told initially, it is because of the untiring, dedicated effort put in by Team Mistro, no doubt. All, all members of all centers have contributed. And we are getting excellent support from all our review forums, excellent guidance from all our review forums. That is what is visible in this uh, uh, view screens. And we are getting excellent, high quality, high reliable systems from all our industry partners. We are extremely thankful for that. And uh, uh, all our uh, system development agencies, all our uh, SR entities, all contribute to this mission. That is why everything went on as expected. And of course, our uh, uh, industry partners, I told, uh, they deliver high quality systems, high reliable systems for us. <coughs> the, this mission is a culmination of efforts put in by all of you. And also, the fa support we get from our family, which we often take for granted, because without which we cannot, uh, we, we cannot manage this sort of missions. <coughs> now, coming to our customer satellite, this uh, satellite team, our uh, Singapore team, has always been with us. And uh, coincidentally, our previous mission also, we went together, we had a joyful ride to orbit, and they are enjoying the benefits of that. And as our uh, NCL CMD has told, you have some more f uh, missions in future. I, 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 I would like to imagine that we will take some two or three missions, two, two or three PSLV always ready so that, two or three missions of uh, vehicles ready so that we can always take you. We congratulate you on uh, your achievements, sir, and we wish you all the best. Once again, best wishes to all of you for this mission. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and I'm very excited. Mission director there, there was. Uh, <laughs> So thank you once again uh, for uh, watching this uh, launch, PSLE c 50 launch. Let me also offer from uh, me the congratulations for all those partners in building PSLV uh, from the industry and also those who have been pa part of the integrating it in, into the subsystems and delivering it for us for this launch. And all of you know that the PSLV is now going to get industrialized. And in coming days, we will be seeing fully industry-owned PSLV is being launched and that we are targeting early next year. Uh, but this year itself, we are going to have very exciting missions. Uh, the PSLV is going to be flying again. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to have the mission of uh, the Gaganyan test vehicle, which is currently getting integrated. We are also planning to have the launch of the SSLV in its third development mission, as well as the P GSLV mission uh, of, uh, for launching inside 3 years. So this, all, we are very packed with our activity in this year. So until then, we announce the next launch. Thank you so much and wish you all the very best. <music>